Welcome to Fred's Footy Fest, and today we're going to be looking at round 11 of the NRL Premiership. So to kick us off is tomorrow night's clash between the Melbourne Storm and the Brisbane Broncos. Now last week in Magic Round, the Melbourne Storm lost to the Rabbitohs by a pretty big lead. Whereas the Broncos on the other hand, beat Manly in Brisbane and at an away game. It was carnage. So for this game, I think I'll tip the Broncos because lately Melbourne Storm haven't been their best side. And I think the fact that some, some of their good forwards were signed to the Dolphins, I think that really killed the Melbourne Storm, especially in the forward pack. So and not only that, but the injury with Ryan Pappenhausen really stuffed them over as well. So hopefully when they get him back, they can be a better side. But at the moment, I can't see them winning this game. So I'm going to have to tip the Broncos by 12 points, I reckon. Moving on, Friday at 6 o'clock is a clash between the Bulldogs and the Warriors. Now last week, the Bulldogs lost to the Raiders in a close match. Whereas the Warriors were comfortably beaten by the Penrith Panthers. For this game, I am going to be tipping the Warriors, even though Jackson Ford will be out for this game. The Warriors had pretty good attack last week, made a few breaks, but however, couldn't execute. But that game was against the Penrith Panthers. Imagine them playing the Bulldogs. They could actually make the break and score those tries, rather than get tackled at the end. However, for the Bulldogs, they have a few returning names, such as Josh Adokar, so that's a pretty big game for the Bulldogs. I can't see Bulldogs winning this game, but however, for this week, I've tipped the Warriors. Eight o'clock Friday night, the Penrith Panthers and the Sydney Roosters. This will be a good game. The Panthers last week beat the Warriors, whereas the Roosters last week lost to the Cowboys. That's pretty embarrassing, losing to a team that's just about at the bottom of the table. I think the Panthers should easily get the job done, especially being back home in Penrith. That would give them the home crowd advantage. Saturday at 3 o'clock is a clash between the Rabbitohs and the Tigers. Now last week, the Rabbitohs flogged the storm, whereas the Tigers got their second win of their season, second in a row. Can they make it a third in a row? They have beaten the Rabbitohs before, last year, in a golden point, and no one expected it. Can they do it again? I can't see it happening, honestly. I'm going to tip the Rabbitohs. But hey, it's happened before, it can happen again. But I cannot see it happening this year. This next clash is between the Cowboys and the Dragons. Now, the Cowboys managed to pull off a massive upset against the Roosters, winning very comfortably. Whereas the Dragons, on the other hand, fell short to the Tigers by two points. I cannot see the Dragons going anywhere this year. However, the Cowboys are starting to come back, but can they keep this up and continue where they're going? Or will they stay at the bottom of the table? I think they'll win this week. 7.35 is a clash between the Raiders and the Eels. Now, last week in Magic Round, the Raiders got a win against the Bulldogs by four points. But, it, hey, they still take the two points. Whereas the Eels, on the other hand, fell short to the Titans. And this week, they'll be missing out on Mitchell Moses, their star halfback. Eels are in pretty big trouble at the moment. But I think their side should be good enough to beat the Raiders this weekend. Sunday at 2 o'clock is a clash between the Knights and the Titans. Now, last week, the Knights had the bye for Magic Crown, whereas the Titans beat the Eels. So, honestly, for this week, I think I might back the Titans. They've been pretty good lately and hopefully they should continue this. And the final match to wrap up this round is a clash between Manly and the Sharks. 
Both these teams got flogged last week. Manly lost to the Broncos, which everyone expected it. And the Sharks, however, lost to the Dolphins. That was... No one expected that to happen. Everyone thought the Sharks were going to win by at least 40 points. But no, the Dolphins were too good. And they have the bye this week. But... For this game, I think I'll tip the Sharks. They have been a good side this year, and in my opinion, I think they're going to be the team to beat this year. Besides the Penrith Panthers, I think they're going to be the next big thing. Fantastic. So, yep. There's my tips for this week, everyone. And tune in next week for some more footy. See you then. Bye.